Okay, welcome sports fans. Myself and John. John and I are sat here at the start of the Edinburgh trial. Never done this one before. We are away in about three minutes time. Oh, following that guy through anyway. Uh, it is 20 past 11 at night. The route takes us on sort of laps around Foxton, Macclesfield, around the Peak District. Starting here at the Duke of York. Doing the land's end at the start of the year, but doing one more local would be good. So we're uh, all set, ready to go. 15 seconds. Oh, it's tense, isn't it? So yeah, the, this uh, this event runs all through the night, so finishing at about three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, right now I would normally be tucked up in bed, but here I am, it's two degrees, and I'm sat somewhere north of Buxton with 27 layers of clothing on. What else would you want to do with your Friday night, anyway? Right, gang. This is the Tissington Ford Time Control. How random does that look? Uh, yeah, we've just... Uh, had about an hour's wait here uh, just to because you, you can only leave on time uh, yeah you can only leave at, uh, at your, your allotted time, so we've got there a bit early, so we've had the best part of an hour's wait. And it's pretty cold to be fair, it's 20 to 2 in the morning, and uh, yeah, I'm, we're gonna have a bit of heated grip action, I think. Here, uh, it's gonna be us turning right here. what is super annoying about this bike some idiot has put the indicator switch where the horn should be and vice versa and literally every time I go for the indicators I nearly press the horn like why do you want the horn above the indicators no one has ever done that ever why change it now anyway so rant over it's 20 to 2 in the morning and I'm moaning at Honda for moving their ignition switch Right, here's Johnny. Right, straight into the village. Three.
some have ridden a trial section with some heated grips to it. Uh, like last weekend, I was steaming around Anglesey on a TZ250. This weekend, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm riding down a gravelly path in Foxton somewhere. And it's freezing. contemplating your life choices. Hey. Thanks, guys.
thumbs up. Which makes you feel slightly better about the day. I'm just waiting here, we're away at 7.32. Heading for section 11. Been alright so far. Have an English breakfast as well. It is slightly warmer now than it was when I went in. Fingers crossed for the, uh, the rest of the day. Go gang, this is section 11. This one's got a restart in it, so we're going to have to stop off at the hill and get going again. Morning fella, all right. Thank you very much. Good one, that. Tricky. This is, isn't it? Oh. See, that breakfast is repeating on me now. Lugging this bad boy up these banks. I can't believe it's like the coldest morning of the year. Here he is, the big fella. Let's find out what happened. I wonder where the fuck he came to. You came it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Boom! Fist oh, bump! I'm pretty sure I did. Boom! I'm pretty sure I did. I stopped in the right place. Yeah? I got it going. I didn't put my feet down. Yeah, no, to be honest, as long as you get it going, you're allowed to foot for like three metres after the box. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, if you were well up, mate, yeah. Oh, oh I just result. gave it a bit of a push off. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, revved it and mad and away we went. Yeah, just drive it with a clutch. Let the clutch out real gentle and just let it take it. Like, yeah, the key. Yeah, let the grip come to it before you let go of it. Oh, mega! That was a tricky section, that as well. That's the hardest one, yeah, I, that's, I that's think, so far. One. So far, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right, banging. Let's roll. Good to go? No.
God only knows, man. Jesus, that does not want to move from there, does it? All clear, go when you're ready, good luck. All right, thank you, all here. All right, well, hey, not that way. Hello. You know what you're doing? Apparently, I am going, I'm starting behind line A, stopping a stride B and stopping a stride C. Yeah. When I put my hand up. When you put your hand up, down. Okay, we're on. Thanks, love. Well, we definitely sent it cockhead.
<laughs> now that has got to be the closest to the mark. 22, mate, yeah. 22. I'll give that a wipe, actually, aren't I? 26.2. Competitive. Is that a good one? That's about equal fastest. Oh, right, mate, that'll do nicely. Another 26. One other 26. Thanks, Joe, mate. Well, I've nearly ruined the clutch. And a back tyre. But I was competitive. Just uh, between sections here, we're following the course opener from the uh, from the last special test we just did. So we all bunched up a bit because uh, I think he just travels at like an average of 20 mile an hour. But what a fantastic day is here now! Absolutely burning off. Considering it was like frosty overnight, it's now hot. Oh, well. September and uh, the views are amazing. What a fantastic place to be riding a motorbike on a day like today. steep and those rocks are really really slippy right we're just uh, back in the action it is 1.57 in the afternoon which that means I've been riding this motorbike for quite some time
Anyway, uh, we've had a little rest stop by Victoria Sponge. Um, looks like I'm now following Noddy along, and um, we're looking for a left turn in here, which is going to take us on route to the final section, and then we're back to the pub to finish. Which will be a little bit of relief. If I'm honest. I think someone started a small fire underneath one of my knees. Alive, it's a controlled fire, but it's definitely alive. Don't ever get off the bar like this. It's really bad for the side scan. 